Hello, this is Jill from Rolling Harvest with another edition of What's Cooking. Today we're going to be creating a watermelon and peach gazpacho. This recipe is perfect as summer starts to wind down. It's refreshing, delicious, and nutritional. The watermelon and peach make it unique as a side dish or an appetizer. The first step is to prepare your vegetables and fruits. We're going to be blending some while keeping others whole to add a lot of texture and excitement to the dish. So the best and most effective way to prepare this dish is to chop enough vegetables and fruits so that you can put most in the blender and save the rest for the end to mix in. The first step is to coarsely chop your tomatoes. Then prepare your watermelon. Start by cutting the large watermelon in half and then you can cut it into triangle shaped pieces like if you were just eating watermelon at a picnic. You can now use your knife to scoop the watermelon from the skin and cut into cubes. Then go ahead and chop your medium red bell pepper. You're now going to take a large cucumber, peel and cut into chunks. Now take your scallions and cut into small pieces. Take a handful of cilantro or parsley and separate from the stems. Finally, take one small fresh hot chili pepper, and this could be serrano, jalapeno, or whatever you like. Seed the pepper and then cut into slices. If you're using dried, add in the flakes to taste. Place these first six base ingredients into a food processor or blender and puree until fairly smooth. You're now going to take the following prepared ingredients and add them to the pureed mixture. Cucumber, halved cherry or grape tomatoes, finely diced pitted watermelon, medium ripe peaches or nectarines, and the juice of a lemon or a lime. Once you have all those ingredients prepared and gathered, add it to the pureed mixture and gently stir. Now you can add salt and freshly ground pepper to taste. Now cover and refrigerate for at least an hour before serving. We recommend before serving that you add fresh thyme sprigs or any other herbs. I hope you enjoyed preparing these delicious fresh vegetables into a wondrous dish that is sure to wow any guest or family member you serve it to. Thank you for joining my colleagues, Jill Kelly, Edie Kwasnowski, and me, Vicki Sarnoff, for this episode of What's Cooking. For information about Rolling Harvest Food Rescue, please visit our website at www.rollingharvest.org. Thanks and bye for now.